Hey guys, Dan the Man here, and today I've got the HP notebook here, which is 15.6 inches, and it comes with the Intel 6th generation 6200U, which is the ultra low voltage CPUs, and it has the AMD R5 graphics, which kind of sucks, it's not as good as the NVIDIA's. But I can't complain much because I got this for a very cheap price. And today I want to show you guys how to clean the RAM, not clean the RAM, I mean, cl I mean clean the fan and upgrading the RAM and adding up SSD if you would like to and all that stuff. So first things first, you gotta turn off the laptop itself and flip it around. And then what you gotta do is just to take the battery out, very basic stuff. Sure, you most of you know of it. Just the battery out. And there is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve screws that you gotta take them out. You gotta screw the screws with the screwdriver. So I've got some of them out already just to save some time. The rest that are actually hidden is just right behind this thing. You gotta just pop that thing out. And there you go, you have one in there. And the other one is just right on the other side. Right there. Don't worry, you can stick them back in later. They're pretty sticky. Alright, I'm gonna just unscrew those two. some time to unscrew this be sure you just store these screws somewhere that you would not lose them later if you lose them it's kind of hard to find them all right in order to take out the um, DVD burner or DVD writer and all you gotta unscrew this thing right here you can just change that even without unscrewing any of them. The one right there, you see the PC logo, just unscrew it, comes out, and this thing should be coming out already. Here we go, we have it out. All right, so there is two more screws actually I've missed here. It's kind of tricky, you know, it's like kind of hidden down there and you can't see it. Pretty hard to get this thing out. There we go, another one. Uh, I should have skipped this part anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys for these hidden screws are, which are those two and these two. And you just flip this thing around. And in order to open this thing, I actually didn't like the way that HP has designed this, to be honest with you guys. And you gotta open it up somewhere from here. With the tools that you can use, I would suggest a guitar pick if you have it's perfect. I don't have a guitar pick right now, but I'm just going to use this coffee bean, whatever, that's here. Or just any plastic tools, because I don't want to scratch this thing. Just press down a little bit, this thing pops out. You can see it, right? Right there. I just don't like the way they've designed this, to be honest. It's like... I feel like I'm breaking things as I'm opening this, but it's not really that feeling. So you just got to be careful, go like little by little and it's kind of hard to open this, it might take some time. Just take your time, don't have to rush or anything. And the bad thing that I don't like about this thing is that the way they just designed this laptop, it's, uh, it's a little bit flimsy once you open it. Because the entire main board and everything included on it is going to be 
uh, right behind the keyboard side and this back thing is completely comes out so there is basically not much of protection and it feels a little bit flimsy once you're working around with it I've opened this thing already once before so I kind of know how it feels it's a little bit tough and struggling at times you want to open it but the best thing I can do now is just flip this thing around and just hope for the best okay ouch that hurt hopefully I didn't break anything okay this thing is out finally and the reason I told you I don't like the design of this thing and from inside it's just I love it feels flimsy because you know like this whole thing all this panel the main board is actually just on this keyboard area and it feels very flimsy somehow I feel like I'm breaking it even though I am not breaking it all right let me just adjust the camera a little bit so you can see it better it actually came with 4 gigs of RAM DDR3L 1600 megahertz which is the low voltage version of it but I added another additional 4 gigs of RAM to it which is Kingstone the same megahertz low voltage blah 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 so in order to take it out, okay, imagine there is no RAM in there. It's just a little bit harder than other laptops I've tried taking out. This is the RAM that I've added in. I got this thing for about 20 something dollars if I'm going to convert the money that I bought it in the currency. But back then I used to get these for, back then I mean a year ago, for about $10. Now I don't know why they increased the prices for these RAMs, despite the DDR4s are out okay you just basically put this thing the connectors the pins right in there first once the pins go in there just like that you just push this thing down in order to take it out you see this side and this side the left and the right you just push them back it comes out and then you eject it it's just that simple to change the ram and as for the hard drive which is a terabyte 5400 rpm even though it sounds a little bit slow but it's not actually it's slow surprisingly it's very easy to take out the hard drive all you got to do is just unscrew this one one screw right here another one right there and just be sure that you don't lose any of these uh things that you're taking out i think we are done no there is one more screw right there so there's three of them just so that you guys don't forget one is here other one is there and another one there these three are basically protecting where the hard drive is so this is connected to that you don't want to damage this so all you gotta do you take this out the entire hard drive is out it's a toshiba 5400 rpm hard drive um, uh, product of Philippines is surprisingly it's not made in China I was expecting it to be made in China but it's all right you can change this with an SSD or anything you would like to or upgrade it with a two terabyte hard drive as you wish and another thing that I wanted to look out for was you could also that's, that empty space right there is obviously for the DVD burner. And what else I wanted to talk about with you guys. Oh yeah, cleaning the, ram, the, the fan, not the RAM. You can actually clean a RAM too, but not at this point and at this time. I'm just going to put all those things in there. I just collected all the screws inside there, so I'm not going to be losing them. So in order for my DSLR to not overheat, I'm just going to show this in another video. Because I'm already recording this for about 10 minutes. And in order to put this thing back again, it's going to be very easy, as I've said before. It's the other way around. Ah, oh, gosh. Um, it goes right in there. So let's just be gentle with this thing, okay? Just be very gentle. No need to rush. Take your time. First, I connect the connector. Once the connector is in, all these are there, good to go. Just one screw, one, 
two, three, actually three of them here. Let me show you better. One, two, and three. Just the three of them, you screw them back, and you put this entire panel back where it belonged to. You just push it back, it clicks in, and then once you put everything back, then you add only this thing. Okay, this is the DVD burner, which is made by HP itself. It comes in here, connects to this connector, just like that, and then you close it. You close this thing first, and then put this thing back, okay? And then the, the screw I showed you guys there that connects this to the main board is right back here. That's the one that goes in there and goes to the main board. And that's all, pretty much. I'll show you guys the, uh, the, the, the fan, basically cleaning the fan and the heatsink and all that stuff in a different video. See you guys.